So, welcome everybody to Vampire Survivors. We'll be doing a short stream on this right now. This is Tuesday morning. I'm sitting here in my bathrobe and I uh, I just recently learned of Vampire Survivors and I now I'm playing it all the time and I thought I would just start streaming a little bit of it. It's a really cool game. If you haven't heard about it, it's on Steam. Costs only two, uh, I think three dollar dues or two uh, and a half European use, Euro Europe use. The Vampire Survivors is a uh, a survival game in which you start up a game. You there's no escape. You just have to kill vampires, bats, ghosts, skeletons, zombies, everything until you die. Then you can you get money and you can spend them on various power ups. The game is really simple, but it's got a lot of complexity to it. There's a ton of items and characters that you can play and unlock. I have started unlocking stuff, but I'm nowhere near and cl uh, close to being done with unlocking. As far as I understand, there's 27 characters or 27 weapons or something like that. Uh, I have unlocked, you, you, you only start with the three up here. I have unlocked four more. I don't know what we're going to... I think I would play Gennaro today. <laughs> He's a kind of generic character. Uh, maybe I'll play one of the, the ones you start by having available. I think it's actually only Antonio that you, you start unlocked with. So let's just play Antonio. He's not a bad character. I'll confirm him. Uh, start it up. And there's I have unlocked a new level, the Inlaid Library. Um, let's just go through the vast forest, which is the starting biome. Here, like so. And this is the game. Again, very simple. My character will continue to attack on his own with whatever weapon we have currently, and we can kill the bats. Diggy diggy hole. Oh, I didn't set up the stream name. Let me do, do that real quick. Thank you for that. Vampire. Vampire survivors. Okay, small sites that they're magical Trevor. Thank you for stopping by. A simple but magical, amazing fun game. Oh, you know it. Good. Beautiful. Now the whip here that we have is our current weapon. You can see it up in the top left there. Uh, I can move around the mouse, and you guys cannot see the mouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. So I can point at things, but the only uh, controls you need in the game is WASD or the, uh, the arrow keys and then space to click buttons when you level up and stuff like that. So now we've leveled up, we do that when we collect those blue gems and then we can see like my stats on the left side there and we can unlock one of three new things. Here I will get, I don't know, I like the clock lancet but it doesn't actually do damage, it just freezes enemies. Pentagram is pretty good but it erases everything including the little xp gems and when it clears the map and so i'm not a huge fan of this one because i do want to get more xp i think we'll get the lightning ring then not my favorite uh, item but it's good so now the lightning rock, uh, ring will start to proc every once in a while there it goes and we are now killing stuff faster than we were before reminds me a lot of archigates yeah, it's so it reminds me as well of, of games that I have must have played when I was younger, but I can't summon up the name of a single one of them, right? It's just like a, a feeling of childhood, I guess. And it's so good. Now we got no, some zombie guys coming in. I, I want to kill this blue dude. The blue dude is a, I don't know what the term is, an elite or a mini boss or something. So he will drop better loot when I murder him. But we don't want to touch them. I'll try to line up my whip to whip him. We leveled up again. Uh, we'll probably get the axe here. The axe, well, they it's not hard to explain all the weapons, so I'll just show them. So here we show the axe. Now we will start throwing axes around. There. <laughs> the axe will like jump up from your character and then fall down off the screen. And uh, it pierces enemies a little bit, and it does massive damage. Oh, there he died. He got a red gem. A red gem is a, a bunch of XP. So, I don't know what kind of build we're going for here. 
this could be like an area build, area, area scaling build. I think we're going to go for that. And the cross is good for that. So let's go for the cross as well. Now we're just getting a lot of level 1 weapons. You can upgrade them. We just haven't done it yet here. Call them elites. Okay, yeah. Tend to drop trash chests. Mm -hmm. Chests and red gems in general, you just want to murder them because they, they, they. Oh, 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 kill them. So here we go, we have rot, uh, bat swarms coming in, or as I like to call them, XP swarms. <laughs> they are XP that flies through the screen, and so you gotta murder as many of them as you can uh, while they're coming in, right? Uh, they've, they've, they'll dis disappear again, where most other enemies, you, they will come towards you and they will drop their XP for you. I'm not sure exactly about all the systems yet, and if I'm saying something wrong, that is, uh, you, you can definitely correct me. <laughs> Magical Trevor also considers them XP swarms. Perfect, perfect. And Beta Dungeons is here. We'll get the Santa Water, because the Santa Water is also a thing that scales really well with area uh, scaling. So, I'll get that one too. Ooh, here we go. And that's why I like to build a lot of damage early on, a lot of attacks, because then we can kill those little XP swarms that come onto the map. So that's Santa water dropping here. It's like bottles of holy water that get dropped randomly on the map. I didn't explain the cross. The cross will fly towards the closest enemy, then flip around like a boomerang and fly off the screen, damaging everything in the path. So it's also like an, an AOE attack in a, in a sense. Really hard to control, but pretty good. Okay, we're starting to get overwhelmed a bit here. Just keep running away from them. Um, it's hard to explain this game while I'm also playing it. It does take quite a bit of focus. We've taken some damage, but I have a bit of HP regen that I have unlocked, so we should be okay for now. Now these Perseus here that I kill, they drop various power-ups and, and money. <laughs> Various little boons. We definitely want to just smash as many of them as we can. Now we gained another level. We can get... Uh, I don't want to get the magic wand for this playthrough here. So we will get either the, the next whip, which I think is good. Or extra sand of water, with, which fires more projectiles. But I'll get the extra whip. Doubling up on the whip is really nice because now he hits in both directions here. This was here over there. Just drop the coin. The coins will go up into my coin or gold storage up here, which helps us upgrade stuff off of the map. So not really yet useful during a run, but we do want to do it. One coin is just not a, a whole lot. We are hoping to get some better drops from some of these Perseus. Not like that one. Oh, we got another elite here. They're pretty tanky, so it, ta it takes a while to kill them, but I will do my best here. The XP gems stay on the map forever, so we can just get them later. Uh, we can get the pentagram again, pomerola is really good, and clover is really nice. Um, I've read a bit about what luck does, and just suffice to say, it does all the things. It gives you critical chance, it gives you better chance of getting more skills, you can find better stuff than chests, and there's more chances of dropping chests, and when you get chests, they tend to be better. You want to get luck as much as you can. Let me know what you don't want me to tell you. What you don't mean to spoil. Okay, um, I don't know. <laughs> Some combining. I've been reading a bit on about the evolution of items. I don't know if there's anything that I don't want to know in this game. I, I've been reading up on it a bit. But we'll take it slow. This is my first video of it. Plenty of time. We will, we will be playing this game a lot, I suspect, over the next few weeks. Now this power up here, we're gonna leave that around for a bit. Um, we can upgrade the whip again, doing more damage. Axe gives us more projectiles, which is really nice. And then we can get the King Bible, which might be the final... We'll, we can only have one more uh, weapon, but I think it should be the King Bible. No, it should be the garlic. So let's get the axe here to get more projectiles. I'm loving as many projectiles as possible flying around the screen. Generally, I think it's better to have lots of little damage procs than one, a few high single target ones, because there's so many enemies you want to just spread out 
the damage as much as possible. Right. As much as possible. Trying to get to the chest over there. Okay, let's walk around. Oh, okay. So here's a boss. The mantis are bosses. And you notice that there's also this flower ring around us here. We got lucky this time, so if we get an extra choice of a skill down here. I probably will get the Santa Water. No, let's get the extra luck early on. Found a treasure chest. The loot box. This one gives you a lot of gold for buying stuff outside of the map. You want to get as much XP early as you can, mm -hmm. even if you take damage because it upgrades your weapons, for sure. Yeah, that's very fair. I'm finding it honestly really hard to focus on the game right now while I'm also playing and talking about it. Uh, so that's something I'll get better at as long as we continue to play on stream here. I've only been playing single player for about two days now. We'll get the clover here. I'm not really interested in the wand for this particular build. There we killed. When you do enough damage to the flower ring, it, the whole ring disappears. So you don't have to kill every single one of the flower units. Just the, the ring as a whole. Let's continue to walk around and gather more of the XP. I, I'm, I don't usually let this much XP just lie around, I will say. So let's try to walk a bit around. We want to get some more movement speed as well. This is not a different boss. If I walk up too far away from the boss, he will like respawn at the edge of the screen. And uh, just come again, come at us again from a new angle. Here's the uh, area scaling that I was looking for. So we will lock that down. That means now all my weapons uh, will have a higher hitbox is the best way to explain it, I guess. And some of them are specifically area attacks, you know, so they benefit a whole lot from it. Single target hits like the axes, for example, will just have a like a, a wider well, hitbox. So they, they will still disappear after a certain amount of hits, you know. Uh, but it, it works for almost every weapon can have uh, more hitbox from the area scaling. Kind of trying to get to the the boss here, but it's kind of hard. Let's just go and murder some Perseus here. Yeah, we found some health. A uh, turkey gives us health. Kill the boss. Not sure why Mantis are bosses in a vampire community, but don't overthink it, I guess. The the Steam review that finally nailed it in the coffin for me, should I get this game or not, was some, someone just wrote, this is such a chat game. Uh, it just throws you in and you, you don't ask questions, you just start playing and it's amazing. Yeah, it's such a chat game. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, 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 everything's fine. Oh, no. Okay, everything's fine. Yeah, I was trying to farm the XP farm there, but oh man, I fucked it up. Okay. Floor chicken. That's right, not turkeys. Floor chicken. That's fine. You die all the time in this game. That was. I feel like we could have gone a lot longer than that, but it's okay. So now we earn some money. We can go and spend it on power-ups. I don't think I can afford anything with that. You can also refund everything, so let me just put the points in what I think we should put it in here. I definitely want to level up greed, so I just get more coins. And you guys can give me recommendations for that if you want. Uh, I think luck is nice to have some base luck. More movement speed is clutch, and I can get double movement speed. Hmm. That might be better than what I've been doing. Uh, I like a little bit of might, so we do more damage. Uh, duration can be good maybe we go for the uh the rune tracer build and so duration will be really good for that one same as projectile speed projectile speed here yes so we have 600 remaining a little bit more of item pickup range 